Yeah, that is the plan, as I understand it. Uh, blooded the bl- blooded the brave, blooded the brave, aka Kyle Reese for the win. With last laugh, we also had some bikini kill, some space hog, black star presence. Oh my god, more value than you can shake a stick at in that block, ladies and gentlemen, and just managing getting us started with propaganda machine for the lovely Dana at Rotting Jewels. Uh, well, you know, this is, this is, I guess, the segment that was uh, advertised earlier today in the Telegram channel, right? Because, uh, again, it's all kinds of interesting stuff goes into the Liberty Radio Telegram channel each and every single day. Uh, even the days that I don't really even work very hard, stuff gets dropped in there. And uh, most of it's pretty interesting, or at least I think it is anyway. Uh, let's see. Let's hit that button so that we can go and take a look at this thing that got dropped into the Liberty Radio Telegram channel yesterday, I believe. Uh, originally from the Jesse Zurawell Telegram channel, and I believe it found its way to us by way of our buddy Hervoye Morich over at Geopolitics and Empire. Uh, I steal a lot of stuff from his Telegram channel. Uh, so much so that I think he started like uh, redoing how he does his posts in there so that it shows that it's coming from him instead of coming from somewhere else. It's kind of funny. Anyway. This is dated December 13th, 2023, so three days ago. And ladies and gentlemen, this is directly from Ginkgo Bioworks' own websites, uh, website. Uh, this, is not, this is not a parody. This is not something that we made in Photoshop to, to have a bit with, all right? This is genuine. These are their words, not mine, all right? The headline reads, Ginkgo Bioworks receives grant to develop innovative live cell delivery platform of antibody therapeutics for treating HIV and malaria. Ginkgo, and if you're familiar with Whitney Webb's work, you've heard of Ginkgo Bioworks before. But Ginkgo, under a grant from the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. Oh, look at that. We'll work to develop a live cell therapeutic that can produce antibodies to fight human immunodeficiency virus and or malaria directly in the body. I guess the two are what? Pretty much you, you can swap them around now. Oh, if, well, if you had HIV, you probably, you're good for malaria then. Don't worry about it. You're good. Just good. Crazy kids. Go on. Have fun. Ginkgo will apply its cell engineering expertise towards creating a fundamentally new cell-based therapeutic delivery modality, good God, which could change the future of biologics delivery in medicine. Kind of sounds like mRNA, doesn't it? Or something similar. Uh, So this comes out of Boston. I guess that's where Ginkgo is located. Uh, Let's see. Ginkgo Bioworks, which is building the leading platform for cell programming and biosecurity. Interesting. Didn't even know that was an industry. Ginkgo has received a grant from the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation to develop a novel cell-based technology for improving protein therapeutics delivery. Uh, Now we're starting to get more detail For patients in low- and middle-income countries. Interesting. So they're specifically targeting what they themselves are referring to as poorer countries. Low- and middle-income. So not, not the top earners. Apparently, they don't need this. The people earning the most money do not need... This therapeutic, ladies and gentlemen, no, this is just for the poor people. So, 
says that Ginkgo will focus on creating a prototype engineered cell line that can express antibodies for the treatment of HIV and or malaria via, via an implantable device. Again, more detail the further you go in. Globally, approximately 39 million people live with HIV, which attacks the body's immune system and weakens its ability to fight infection. Well, we should all know that by now. The World Health Organization. Oh, good God, it gets better. The World Health Organization reports that nearly half the world's population is at risk of malaria transmission, with 96% of malaria caused deaths in 2020 taking place in the WHO Africa region. Well, yeah, because uh, COVID, like, just never, COVID never happened in Africa. Uh, for those of you that don't know, it's just COVID was not a thing in Africa and Africans don't know really what COVID is. Uh, but interesting, they had problems with malaria. Hmm, interesting. Uh, all right, let's finish out this uh, paragraph and then we'll get back to it. The engineered cell line would be designed to act as a cell factory capable of delivering protein therapeutics to the patient for up to a year or longer. Well, uh, I guess anyone who's, who's gotten the other experimental shots, ask them if their stuff stopped after a year. I'd be interested to hear what they say. This prototype cell line could potentially lead to protein therapeutic delivery systems that function as long-term and cost-effective treatments for these diseases. Well, I'll tell you folks, I can sleep better at night uh, knowing that Ginkgo Bioworks and the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation uh, are taking care of HIV and or malaria for us. That's, uh, that's some quality work uh, that those folks are doing right there. I thought that was worth dropping in the time capsule. Uh, that is the grand theft world because I just I have a feeling this is not the last time uh, we're going to hear about this stuff. But it, here's the thing. It's going to be difficult for us in the United States to hear about it because we're not going to be the target or are we? Anyway, let's close out this shit show.